we are going to review counting dimes, nickels, and pennies. Let's go ahead with this first problem here. Notice that I have the coins organized by the highest worth coin down to the lowest worth coin. So remember that the dime is worth 10. I'm going to write this on the coin so we don't forget. So we have a 10. A nickel is worth 5. And a penny is worth 1. So that can help me as I'm counting these. So we have 10. And 10 plus 5 would be 15. Plus 1 is 16. Plus another 1 is 17. And so my answer here for number 1 is 17 cents. Let's take a look at number two. I see we have three dimes and three nickels. Well, how much is a dime worth? A dime is worth 10. So I'm going to go ahead and put 10 here. Another 10 and another 10. How much is a nickel worth? Nickels are worth five. So we're going to put five on each of these coins. Okay, now that we know how much each coin is worth, we can go ahead and we'll start counting them. So it's 10, 20, 30. Notice I just counted by tens. Now I'm gonna count by fives. So 30 plus five more would be 35. 35 plus five is 40. And 40 plus five is 45. So our total then is 45 cents. Okay, I want you to try to do this last one all on your own and I'll go over it with you in a few minutes. So you might want to um, pause the video and solve this one on your own. Okay, so I'm gonna walk you through it now. So this is a nickel, which is worth five. And then there's three pennies and a penny is worth one. Okay, so here we see that it's five plus one more is six plus one more is seven plus one more is eight. So we have eight cents total. Nice work everyone. There's one other type of problem I want us to try. And for this problem, instead of having the coins and counting them, we're going to be given an amount, and we need to grab coins to make that amount. Let's start with something pretty simple. I want you to make 11 cents. Well, I'm going to make 11 cents. I'm going to start with my largest coin possible, because I know this is 10, and 10 is less than 11. So I can use a dime. So that's 10. And then I need to make 11, so that's one more. Well, to make one more, I would just grab a penny. There we go. So 10 and 1, that's 11. So a dime and a penny will make 11 cents. Let's try one more. So if I want us to make the coin amount 26 cents. Okay. Well, I need to start by grabbing some coins from over here. There's lots of different ways you could do it. I could grab 26 pennies, because that would be 26 cents, but that's a lot of pennies to be dragging over. I think I can use less coins. Well, I'm going to start with my tens. So I have 10 here, and I need to get to 26. Well, I know by counting by tens, I can get 10, 20. So I think I'm going to grab another dime. So now I have 10, 20, and I also want to grab, I gotta make six cents. So how are some ways I can make six cents? We could grab six pennies, that's one way. Or we can grab a nickel, which is five, and one more. So we have five here and one. So we have 10, 20, 25, 
26 cents. Alrighty, friends, you'll be practicing counting coins today, and also you'll be given an amount, and you'll have to build that amount as well.